How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number two in my Leap Motion with Java series. Um, last video we uh, downloaded the Leap Motion SDK, we installed the Leap Motion drivers. One thing I'd like to mention, I remembered one thing. Um, go to your downloads folder. If your leap motion isn't detected by your computer right away or after running any of these uh, programs we're going to do in these tutorials if it's not detected double click um, go into your leap motion developer kit double click on this right here there is different drivers that get installed might need to do that you might not I'm just going to put that out there in case you run into problems alright now for this video we are going to create the leap motion listener so uh, you, it's a, basically a listener you're adding to the uh, to your program that um, listens to uh, the leap motion for gestures, detects when you connect your leap motion to your computer, detects when you disconnect it. So let's get started with that. First, open up Eclipse. When you open it, make sure you select the workspace where we uh, created this leap motion project last uh, tutorial and just want to make sure that you still have your library added uh, drop down reference libraries and you should see the leap java.jar library what we're going to do is we are going to create in our solars folder so right click on the source folder new and class give this whatever name you want to give it so I'm going to call this one a leap controller and if you want to add your public static void main method and here is the class we're going to be working with for the next couple tutorials. Alright, I'm back. I realized something really important, which is I had left my Leap Motion motion sensor up in my room, so I had to run upstairs and grab it. Alright, uh, take your Leap Motion out of the box and make sure you uh, have the uh, USB cable in the device firmly and plug the other end into a USB port on your computer. Don't know if you could hear that, that little da 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 when you uh, plug your USB cable in. And it's connected now. Sometimes, not always, occasionally you'll see um, a kind of like a leap motion uh, icon pop up here. Doesn't happen to me every time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Don't be alarmed if yours doesn't. So let's get into some coding. If you have your library installed correctly then what you want to do is type in import and we're going to import this leap motion library so it's import com dot leap motion dot leap and you you uh, put the star after the leap because you want to import everything the other thing we need to do is import com dot leap motion dot leap dot gesture dot state that's going to be in a later tutorial when we use that but we are going to need it so these are the two import statements we need to use our leap motion library before we uh, program our leap controller class we need to make our listener so above your public uh, class leap controller we're gonna put class and you're gonna we're gonna create a new listener I'm gonna call mine leap listener you can give it any name though and have it extend listener in the series I'm assuming you do know some Java so if I'm going through this a little quickly I'm hoping you know Java anyway so you can follow it. If not, feel free to ask me any questions. If you're a little confused, look at my introduction to Java tutorials. They will help you if you're not that familiar with Java. This is going to be our listener, which is going to be added to our controller. And inside the listener, we have to put some of the uh, required methods. The first one is the on init. So, public void on in it and in that on in it we're gonna pass in 
control or and we're gonna call that controller controller and inside here is what you want to happen when the uh, <clears throat> when our listener is initialized and a controller gets passed in so when it's initialized all I'm gonna do is system dot out dot print line initialized alright there we go the next method is the on connect so when our listener actually connects to the leap motion controller so public void on connect and then we're gonna pass in once again controller and I'm gonna call this controller controller imagine that and in here a couple things we're gonna do first one is we're just gonna print out System dot out dot print line connected to motion sensor. But in here is also where you add gesture states. In here we imported a bunch of different gesture states um, in these two lines. And these are the type of gestures that Leap in Motion is going to recognize. And the four that Leap Motion recognizes is a sweep. So when you move your hand palm down across the motion sensor from left to right or from right to left. That's one of the gestures. Um, another gesture is circle, so where you're moving your hand in a circle uh, above the motion sensor. And then there is the screen tap, so leap motion sees in 3D. So when you move your fingers forward as if you're about to touch the screen, it detects that as a screen tap. And then the last gesture is called the key tap which is where you move your fingers down as if you're typing on a keyboard so if you're not sure let me just search here uh, leap motion uh, you can type in draw a circle for example uh, so circle gesture here it gives you an image of how it detects it. So right here it's just showing you the type of motion you have to use for it to be detected and it also will give you some of the uh, methods that go with the circle gesture. So any of the gestures I just explained just search them just to get a better uh, idea of how you have to move your hand. Alright and now that we had the connect one this is where we're going to add the uh, the gestures that I was talking about. So controller. The controller that we passed in dot enable gesture and in here we're going to pass in gesture dot type uh, dot type in all capital letters and we're going to first do the swipe one so type underscore swipe and I'm just going to copy this line just to save a little bit of time paste it four times because the four gestures and next one I'm going to use is circle, uh, circle, and then the other one is screen, underscore, tap, and then finally we have our key tap. Alright, that is our on connect method, and now we are going to do the on disconnect. So public void on disconnect and it's going to pass in like all the other functions a uh, controller and I'm going to call that controller controller because I'm that original and all we're going to do on this one is like this up here except for uh, I'm going to change this to motion sensor disconnected alright perfect and then the final method is on exit so public void on exit 
and it's going to pass in controller controller so when we exit out of our program and we're going to pass in uh, so yeah we passed in controller and we're just going to print out system dot out dot print line and the message is going to be exited and that's all we're going to really program. The only method I'm going to put in here because it's one of the uh, required methods is the on frame one, which we're going to get into the next time. This is where you actually do your motion detection and get data from your different gestures and whatnot. So public void on frame controller oops, controller and we're going to call it controller once again and it's just going to be a blank method right now we're not going to put anything in there but the leap motion it um, it sends to our Java program approximately about 200 frames per second all of them getting processed inside this method now I'm just going to flip through my notes quickly alright alright uh, Here's what I want to do. Inside our main method, we're actually going to um, connect to our leap motion. So what we're going to do, uh, leap listener, um, we'll call it listener, equals new leap listener. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance of this program. So, or sorry, an instance of the controller. So, controller, we're going to call it controller, equals new controller. And this is from the leap motion or the leap java.jar library. That's where the controller class comes from. We didn't actually program that. And then what we have to do is controller dot add did I spell that wrong controller I just want to make sure so controller dot add listener and what gets passed in is our listener that we've made so pass in the listener okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep looping uh, reading stuff until an enter is pressed and that's when it's going to exit out of our program so just type in system dot out dot print line press enter to quit oops All right, and then we're going to do a try statement so try try catch block try system dot in dot read catch and inside the catch brackets we are going to try to catch i o exception e now before i forget that we haven't imported i o exception yet so import java dot io dot io exception all right now we're okay and that will work just fine and if we wanted to we can print out the error statement so e dot print stack trace all right and finally when it gets to after this point we've exited it out of our program so all we're going to do at that point is remove the listener from our controller so controller dot remove listener and we are going to remove the listener that we created all right hopefully that wasn't too much too fast i was trying to go slow hopefully not too slow to bore some of you so we're going to run this program now And this error is actually one to talk about. 
Um, I loaded the 32-bit library, and the reason for that was I, when I first used my Leap Motion, it was on a 32-bit computer. But that was really stupid of me for this tutorial series because I'm using a 64-bit computer now. So if you have that error, that's all it means. So in your libraries, I'm going to fix this quickly. Oops. So libraries, leap motion, native library, edit. And instead of the 32-bit, uh, I'll use the 64-bit folder. OK. All right. And run, run. So there we go. Connected to motion sensor. You guys are just going to have to trust me that my USB uh, cable for my motion sensor is plugged in my computer. I will disconnect it now. Motion sensor disconnected motion sensor connected and now if we press enter it ends the program we get our exited message and you also notice the uh, initialize method did work the way we programmed it so that was a lot of code to go over I am gonna wrap the video here it's already really long and in the next video we're gonna start working with this on frame class and recognizing some gestures so thank you guys for watching comment on the video like the video and subscribe and I will see you next time